Hi everyone, welcome back. My name is Jean, and today we're gonna work on that shaker card I promised you, or the shakers I promised you guys I would show you how to make. I bought these, um, they're little jar treat holders. It was They came with a plastic bag and you put a little treat in it and then you tape the plastic bag to the back. Well, I'm using them for shakers. So here's the sample I made. I'm gonna show you how I make my shakers and a couple ways we can embellish them. Um, what else? I'm going to make turn one into a card. I'm going to show you how to do that. So we're going to play with those a little bit. Now these were $3.95 and you got uh, 24 in the package. And there was, I believe, five different designs. There should be a Gingy in here yet. And the Santa, yep. Okay, Gingy. So you got all of them. Open the cars. Six of them. So I got six different ones, okay? All right, throw that back over out of our way. Now, first thing we're gonna do is just make a basic, basic one. Now, I did a lot of the work ahead of time because it takes a long time to put the foam tape on. So the first thing is you can see this little ugly little white piece that, that they all have it on there. I'll show you. Get a hold of them. They all have it. So what these are basically, you know, it's a little fabric piece that you put over the top of the jar and they tie the ribbon. So the fabric push. I don't like the looks of it. It just, it just stands out too much. What I do is I just cut it off. Just like that. Simple, simple, simple. Now, it doesn't hurt the look of it or anything. Now you, ha you go from that to that. See how that just stands out? Calls attention. Ugh, I didn't like it. All right. First thing we're gonna do is gonna make a basic, basic, you know, one. I'm going to show you, I got most of them made, but you just take a piece of acetate in your collection from scraps or whatever, and you just kind of, you know, measure it on there and cut it. I just freehand cut it. I don't worry about getting it perfect. And then to put it down, what you wanna do is just take your glue to the very edge of your acetate. Don't glue around here because your glue, might push into your acetate so i just glue and it's hard to see on acetate just glue the very edge put glue on the very edge of your acetate okay and then we're going to put this in place very carefully and i just let it go now the other th thing you want to do is don't push your glue to the inside push outward on your glue push out so when you're pushing it down, push out. So then your glue will stay away from the opening and simple as that, okay? So this one we're not gonna use. I'm just, cause it's not dry. I had, to, I glued all of them ahead because we need it to dry. We need things to be dry on this project, guys. Okay, next thing is, all, is when you come and trace out your paper. And now I'm gonna use this paper pack, I think for just one of them maybe. And then I have a different one. So this is Prima's 25 in Peppermint. I think they still sell this one. Um, I think I might have got this one recently. I don't even remember. But um, I got so much paper. You know that, guys. You can't remember where I get everything. I'm going to use this gingerbread because I'm using this one here. All you do is take down, put your little, I'll do a flat one for now so that we can see it better because I already had the foam on that one. And then just trace around it and then cut it out and you have that, okay? So that's all you need to do on that. Push that off to the side. Don't wanna get my stuff mixed up. Okay, next thing you're gonna do, you got your acetate glued on, all you're doing is glue it down there, is you're gonna put your foam on the back. Now I did a double layer of foam because I didn't, I didn't have no, the thicker foam. And um, I needed it thicker because I wanna make sure when you put your Sprinkle stuff in there, your shaker stuff in there, it's gonna stand, it's gonna be high enough in case you have some higher bobbles and stuff like that, pieces in there. So I use this, I got this one from Target. I think it's a 3M project, I can't remember, product, I can't remember now. But, so I did four of them and I have, this was the roll that I was using and that's what I have left and that's how big it is. So you can do four, probably five out of one roll. I don't normally ha use the, this brand that often um, because I like the thicker one when I'm doing shakers, but I'm all out. So 
I use what I got and then I just double layer it. All I did on that is I just take down and put, so first I square off my window. First I just go around my window because you don't want the shakers to go up in here. You don't need that. And then take off your piece and put on another. And this does not have to be pretty guys. You know, all you're doing is holding in it, but you want to make sure there's no gaps. And then I put my second layer on and then keep the tape on the second layer. And you just don't want to make sure there's no gaps so that the sprinkles don't fall out and stuff like that. Okay, so I got that on. Got a little bling in there from somewhere. Okay. Okay, I am at that point, right? Now at this point, you can either take off your tape before you add your shaker bits in or you can leave them on. I tend to leave it on because I have made accidents before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I tend to just leave it on. And then I'm going to sprinkle in. I have a little bit of this one left. I don't have a lot of Christmas stuff left. I'm going to have to stock up again. This one has some little gingerbread men in. Candy pieces, snowflakes, some red, some gingerbread houses, and all the peppermint candy. And then they're like little sprinkle pieces and stuff. So I'm going to use this one on this. And then I'm going to put it in there. And then just make sure I, I flatten it out. And you put in as much as you want. I just kind of put in a layer first to see kind of how I like it. And the good thing about these is they are double-sided, which is good. So you don't have to sit there and flip them all over. But I try not to um, get anything laying on top of each other. On the smaller ones, you can. But if you got some thicker pieces, make sure they're not laying on top of each other. I'm going to put a little bit more in. You know, this is to your own liking. Put as much as you like. I'm, you know, I'm just showing you some samples here. Get this house down. I'm not sure where I got this. A lot of these mixes I've had for quite a few years. And then what I do when I'm getting low on mixes... I will tend to mix them together. So I think this is a mix. It's just all Christmas things. And I had just a little bit from a couple different mixes and I just mix them together. You know, I think they went together because they're Christmas anyways. So, and the color scheme was about the same. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take off our tape pieces. And now you can just take off a few if you want and line up or take them all off. I tend to live dangerously and just take it all off. Yep, I do. And like I said, don't have to be, you know, it's going to look beautiful anyways. Uh, and make sure you don't have no shaker bits stuck up in your plastic, your foam. This one don't want to come off there for some reason. Okay. And just be careful when you unstick your fingers. Okay, now, another thing I was going to tell you. Lots of your foam tapes are really sticky on the side. This brand isn't very sticky, so it's good. But if you're, you got a really sticky one, I've had sticky ones before. In fact, I think my sample one, you can see, and it was a Dollar Tree brand, which isn't my favorite. I don't really use them for shakers, but that's what I had. You can see all the bits had stuck to it. Well, you can take that one. I didn't care. I didn't take anything. You know, my I take my embossing pad. I have a pad and I have a brush, and I just brush it on there. Help keep the bits away. So I'll do that. Okay. So what we're gonna do? And I stood up a little bit so I could see. Now remember, you pattern side down. I I like this gingerbread. I thought it went better with those than that gingerbread. Had more pinks in. What you're gonna do is just gonna do your best to line it up, and. Don't push it on tight, tight. And don't worry if it's not perfect. And then I'm just going to kind of look at it and think, okay, that's probably good enough. Then we want to push it down. Okay. And voila. So there you have a shaker. Hey, that one went, went on pretty good, Jean. That's what happens if you stand above. Um, I've got a, too much. There you can see I didn't flatten those pieces out and they're kind of stuck together, but that's okay. They'll eventually come and work their way out. There we go. Because you want to make sure you don't your pieces aren't like bulked up. So there, that's just a simple, you know, how to put it together. Okay. So we're going to make a couple other different ones. I'm going to show you a couple other things that we're going to do on some of them. And then 
So that's our basic one. Let's move this out of the way. <clears throat> Next, let's do an outside scene. So I found this paper was a scrap from here. This is Welcome Santa from Just My Craft. And let's see if I can find my scraps here. I had used, I believe it was this scene. I had used some out of um, the other sheets. I had two sheets left. I had used this scene out of one. And then I had used some. So I had these scraps left anyway. So I cut a piece out of them to make the sky. So I always keep all my scraps. I don't always use a full page, but I keep my scraps. So I like this. It looks like a sky. So I've got the tree is what I'm going to put on it. And then after, before I glue or yeah, tape it together, I just kind of look and make sure, you know, I did cut that bottom piece pretty even. If not, you can come back and trim. But in the long scheme of things, it's not going to show very well. Okay. Same thing. We'll do the shaker bits inside. For this one, I have these white sequins with stars, snowflakes, snowflakes no no stars and white pieces that was the closest i could find to a white sky um i could use the blue one but i'm going to use the blue one for a different one because i think it'll show up better on the other one this one the white will show up really good Whoop, i forgot to put some foam up there guys so let's do that quickly maybe i did that on purpose who knows let's just quick put down a couple pieces we it's a good thing it's an easy piece You know, I was trying to do some of this ahead because this is, takes the longest part of putting all this foam on. And you just want, like I said, just a double-sided foam. Just put it on. Just like that. Okay. That to go back on this straighter. All right. So same thing up on my camera. Who knows with me, right, guys? All right, we're in camera. Same thing. We're just gonna make the shaker itself first. I'm gonna put all this in to make it look like a white skies, like snow falling. There's all different size bits in here. There's white seed beads and stars and stuff like that. Okay. Put the cap on it. Take all our tape off. Okay, one more here. Get my other hand on this one. Okay, now my finger is going to be stuck on that one. So you want to slowly pull it off or you'll have a mess. It'll bounce up. All right. Now, same thing. We're just going to throw this on upside down. That bell won't show. The bell goes up here. So don't worry about that. And then we're just going to put it on upside down. Oh, geez. Almost let go too soon. Now, on this one, on the back, if you want to stamp to from, if you want to use it like this and just make it like a label or a tag thing out of it, but I'm going to show you something else to do with it. Okay. I'm going to go over. I don't think you'll see me because I'm looking above the camera itself. Now, I probably won't get them all perfect. All right. Let's see how we did. Woo! Two for two guys. Now on this one, we are going to take some ribbon, okay? And I'm gonna put real ribbon on there, all right? So let's go, we'll stick with the green that there is. If you don't have, an, like this is a eighth inch ribbon, I believe, the eighth inch. If you don't have any of this, you can use this curling ribbon for wrapping packages. That'll work just as well. So I'm just gonna take a hunk off of here for now. Nope, I don't measure half the time. Okay, so what else I wanna do on this one and I don't have my stamp thing out here, but what we're going to do is we're going to make a little tag. So I would make a two from tag 
And I don't have my, I couldn't find my little two from because I used it in another project and who knows where it went. But I'm just going to show you how to make the tag. This is one and a half by one. Okay. And then all we're going to do is if you don't have one of those punches that make the um, tag shape, just go ahead and cut like that. And then we're going to put that piece on the other side so that the, your corners kind of match. And... Don't cut your finger. You can use a tweezers, but you know, I live dangerously. Okay, and then we'll take my punch and I am using the little hole punch, which is, what is it, a one eighth? Yep, one eighth. And then I'm going to just, ooh, things are falling, guys. The sky is falling. All right, let's see if I'm somewhat centered. Okay. <laughs> Not really, but we're, this is just samples. Okay, normally I would have to and from on it, which I can just write for now. Uh, I'll just quickly write it on. I have a pencil, nothing else, but. And then you would just stamp or write to and from. Don't mind my penmanship. No one says I have good penmanship because I don't. Okay, so then what I'm going to do is First, I'm going to tie it down first. And if you have some ribbon that matches a little closer, by all means do it, but you know, I can't be picky. I don't always have matching stuff. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to throw this on there. Hopefully. Okay, I'm going to throw that on there, and then that kind of like makes a double tag, and then I'm going to take and make another loop here, like that, just so it helps stays on tighter, and then if you're good at making bows, which, you know, that wouldn't be me, and just make a little bow. Ah, oh, goodness, you know how, like, I didn't leave myself a really lot of tail left here, but we'll get it. Okay, kind of bring that back in, bring that back in, make yourself a little. And I would probably do a little bit more decorative little tag and stuff like that, but these are just samples. I'm showing you guys different things to do, you know. There. And then you have a tag and you can go ahead round your bottoms, whatever you want. So instead of the Merry Christmas, which you can still see, you actually have a two from on there. Okay. So we have that one. Now let's step it up a little bit. I have the car. Okay. Same thing. Let's go ahead and start with just getting our shaker prepared. And this is the one I'm going to use our blue bits, snowflakes. There's even penguins in there. But we're going to pretend we don't see the penguins. You can pick that kind of stuff out, but I don't worry about it. And then this was another piece from the Dress Me Craft one that I had cut apart. Um, and it's had some white snow on, so we're going to use that one. And put our bits in first. Like I said, this is the time. Okay, so now I got some big pearls in there. And if you put your hand like this, you can tell it's going to be above your foam. So I'm going to be taking those out, but I'll shake in some stuff first. Shake in about what I want. And those pearls are going to come out because they are definitely too big. Sometimes when they make, make mixes, I don't think they really pay attention to how thick they're making things. Okay, that'll be good enough. So easy to kind of like re, you know, vamp something, I guess is the word. I don't know. You know, these, these were not intended for this, but you know, they work perfect for shakers. Okay. I'm going to get my fingers off of there. All right. Make sure we got the white side down and here it goes. You think we can get three for three? Hmm, probably not. Eventually. No. 
Okay, I'm going to go above my camera. And I'm going to think, hopefully... Not bad, I got a little, little too much there, so we can just take your scissors in there and just cut around it if you don't like it showing out. Like I said, you can't be perfect all the time. Okay, so there's our truck. So then what I thought on this one is I took another truck one and cut the top off. We are going to go ahead and foam that up. And here we'll just use a single layer of foam. We don't need to use a double layer. This is just help give it a little bit of dimension. Now you can use any of your bling, your paints, your inks, or whatever else you want on this to decorate them. I'm just showing you some basics and you guys can take it from there. Okay, just showing you a couple different things you can do and then you guys can just take it from there. Okay, and then we're gonna center this on and kind of match it all up the best you can guys. All right, now you got a little dimension. Let's see in the front, you have a little bit of dimension there. Now, I kind of wanted to do the truck. So I have the truck here. I cut that out, but I didn't really like, I don't know if I like that white or not that's left over there. But now it's a little too late that I can kind of maybe cut some of it away. Let's see if we can kind of cut a little some of this big peak off maybe. And I think that'll look a little better. Cut it before. I thought it would look okay. I originally had kept that part on here, but I didn't like it. So we're gonna do the same with the Dakar. I know my accent changed again, didn't it, guys? Okay, let's see. Sure, got too much there, a little too much there. And if you want to go thicker, go thicker. I didn't want a lot of dimension because this, this um, shaker has a lot of dimension already. And like I said, you can use these now. If you make a, if you put it on a card base, you're gonna need a six by six, but don't fret. The last one, I'm gonna show you how to make a card out of it. Very easy to turn this into a card. There, okay. So now you have a little dimensional pieces there. And like I said, you can add your own bling. We'll add some ribbon to it. You can do what you want from this point. I can get my ribbon off of here. It's really on, taped on you. Okay. Grab a piece off of here. It's taped again. Don't know what Jean was doing, but she just taped it all like crazy. Okay, same thing. I, I think I like the ribbon compared to just the picture of the ribbon. And this one, I'll just leave the tag because I already have a lot of dimension. And this is pretty wrinkly. I would probably iron it before I would, like if I was giving this to somebody. But, you know, we're just here on camera playing around. Oh, my goodness, you think I can even do this part? Okay, tweezers. Tweezers are your friend when you're trying to tie a bow. Tying the shoe. Okay. I'd take the time to play with it a little bit more and fix the bow a little bit more, but you know. Who knows if I'll even give these to anybody, these ones. These are probably just stay in my stash as sample stash. And there, now you have that one. Cute. So you got so far three different ways. Just by adding paper in the background. Let me put the shaker bits down so you don't so you can see the paper. Just by adding different paper in the background, you can see how it changes the look of your shaker card. All right, now a card. Very simple. I have my backer piece which we're first going to um yeah put on we'll put the shaker together first i had to make sure i was doing this in the right step this one i took a piece of the music sheet from this one what else do you put with santa i don't know 
okay? I didn't have much else here. So I used the music sheet on this one. Again, I forgot the top. My goodness, guys. I don't know what I was doing. Open the other one. Can I get that off that plastic? Oh, I guess it will come off. Sometimes you can't use that piece if it's against cardboard. enough and open this one okay oops did I do that on the other one guys is anyone yelling at me I think I did won't be the first time would not be the first time Nope, I did take it off there. Okay. Okay. Um, This one. Yes, we'll use the red and white. Yep. So I got this one's got Santa. Is it Santa hats or mittens? I think it's mittens. Let's take some out. And oh, pearls again. I like those pearls. The pearls. So we got, yeah, I think it's a mitten. And some candy pieces. And some clear, these clear ones will be really good. They'll work just fine. But we know the pearls won't. Unless you add like another, you'd have to add another layer. So get these pearls back out. Okay, I think that's the last one. Okay. I think I want to get a couple more mittens in there if I can. Pull some out. Get a couple mittens in there. They're all on the bottom. It's just hiding down there. Okay, that'll be good enough. Okay. Okay. Take off our little tape. How's everybody doing out there? Getting your Christmas stuff done? Oh, it's coming upon us really fast, is it not? It's like, I thought it was just the beginning of summer, and here we are. Here we are again. Okay, now let me get my finger off of there. Okay, get that piece off that jumped up there. One pearl yet. Hey, here we go, guys. Can we get the fourth one on pretty good? We did three so far that turned out pretty good. Just stand up and give it, get above it. Okay, now we have our simple little shaker. Okay, now what I did was is cut another piece, okay? And then what I did is with the same paper, which I'm gonna to try to find in my booklet here for see if it's the same one. There it is, yep. So then, all I did, let's get this in this so you can see, is I just traced that top piece. So I traced from here and I, oh, that's not right. I'm showing you guys wrong already. Okay, so I had enough to cut this out plus enough for my top piece, okay? What you wanna do, what you wanna do, okay, fold it. Now put this up there, cause you need it to be a hinge. So then all I'm going to do is do this and do this. And then when I cut it out, I just cut it out like that. Don't worry about being perfect. This really isn't gonna show much. And so I'm using the same, you want to use the same pattern paper as you did for this. So then it'll blend right in. And then we're just going to go straight across. Okay. And you have your hinge. Okay. Although we're going to fold it this way. 
Now I got mine all, I put it on here then. So then I got it on here and I made sure that it, it doesn't have to butt up against there. All we're doing is making a hinge. I guess, see, I think it goes this way. And then I just made sure it didn't go beyond and then I just trimmed it down. So now you want the pattern that way because it blends in there perfectly. So now we're just gonna glue this down. Very easy to use um, an odd shape item that you have and turn it into a card just by making a hinge. I wanna make sure it's not showing over, which wouldn't really matter too much because it's on the back side anyways. Okay, now I'm going to put glue on here. And then I'm going to sandwich these together and we will have a card. Make sure it's on there straight. Give it a minute. Okay, and now you have a card. Oops, my camera, probably not. Just like that, see how easy that is? Let's give it some time to dry. Really good and you have a card now. See, now it's a card. Now here it shows, but I don't really care about that side anyways, because you're looking down at that and the pattern goes with it anyways. If you don't, if you want it to match, just cut another piece, but that the inside doesn't really matter to me. And now you can do have, go at it, do what you want. If you want a ribbon on it this time, put the ribbon on first. Do not tie the ribbon around the card, of course. So tie the ribbon around this part and then you have a card just like that we did four of them took it from just a very simple just putting it together and like i said now you can use this to add on top of presents or put it on a card or you know just hand it like this if you put white paper on the back you can write and it could be a card without a backing anything you want to use it for be perfect on the front of a christmas album perfect and then we went what did we do oh then we just kind of put some ribbon on it and a little tag you can put a tag on here we kind of cut some more pieces out and 3d them up there to make them a little bit more dimensional and then we've turned one into a card i like to get it open can i get it okay then we turned one into a card right on it whatever you want and then, like I said, decorate them any more, any way you want. You can, there's a lot more you can do with them, guys. You know, don't stop here. There's a lot more things you can do. I kept it simple for you guys and let your imagination go now. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment. You have any more suggestions for me, go ahead and leave them in the comments. I'm always up, up for suggestions. Okay, guys, as always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everyone.